I gotta admit, I'm a little nervous. I hope our little livestock guardian puppy did okay last night. It was a little bit chilly. It's in the teens right now, but I'm sure he's doing good. I'm just kind of excited to see the little guy. Something about a new dog that just makes you happy. Happy about life. <laughs> Good morning, Toby Dog. Aw, how's it going, buddy? Huh? How you doing? How you doing this morning? Hi. Hey. How's it going, buddy? How's it going, buddy? Did you have a good night? Huh? So for those of you guys who are new to our channel, this is Sir Bartleby de Mimsy Porpington, Earl of Caledonia County. A, a very, very proper title for such a regal animal. We're gonna call him Toby for short. Toby, Toby, come on. Oh, easy bro. He is our three month old livestock guardian puppy. His breed is a, what's known as a Maremma. They are livestock guardian dogs that are intended to live full time 24 seven with the animals that they're charged with protecting. They were originally bred for the Alps of Italy where they would uh, actually be out there with the sheep and living wild protecting the sheep from wolves. They're, they're used for sheep, they're used for cattle, they can be used for poultry. And we're gonna be training Toby here on how to be a good guard dog. For the first couple months of his life, we're gonna actually keep him separate from everybody else. Toby here is going to be ultimately responsible for protecting our flock of ducks. Um, but for right now, he's in training, which means he lives by himself in a paddock and shed directly next to our ducks. Aw, isn't that right, buddy? <laughs> now, this is the first livestock guardian dog I've ever trained. And so I'm sure people are going to tell me I'm making mistakes all over the place. And as you watch these videos, feel free to do it. I'm not offended. I'm really just a guy trying to learn and trying to do the right thing. You know, with Toby here, I'm actually trying to make sure that he is ultimately a very friendly dog, even though I don't want him to be friendly to the bobcats and coyotes and bears and other miscreants that we have living around the farm. But the way Toby's gonna be living is gonna be very different than say the way the Italians raise their dogs, where they have them out in the middle of nowhere with packs of wolves roaming around, or when you see like the farmers out west who use livestock guardian dogs on large, large ranches, he's gonna be a little bit different because we're a small integrated farm here and it's, it's essentially, there's a lot of activity and a lot of visitors that we have here at the homestead. And I wanna make sure he's not gonna be so overprotective and so unsocialized that he doesn't like people. And so I've been spending a lot of time with Toby here. I even set up this Adirondack chair over here so I can come out here on a regular basis and just hang out and read a book. But it's gonna take quite a while to train good old Toby be here and uh, I'm gonna be working on it today's milestone though is we're gonna be having him exposed to our ducks for the first time and see how he does he was raised on a farm where he was actually with ducks full-time um, the, the farm that he was on had about 40 ducks or so so um, I think he should be pretty good he had his mother and the other Maremas on that farm who would uh, make sure he didn't go after or chase the ducks I know that that's gonna be something I have to continue to work on with him um, as he gets a little bit older because you know those teenage puppies can be a little bit overly playful sometimes Toby leave the camera alone, bro. Toby. Toby. Toby to me. Good boy I've been working on basic commands with Toby. It's a slow process But again, it gives me an excuse to spend time with this adorable puppy and uh, You're not hearing me complaining. Isn't that right my friend? Yeah <laughs> Behave yourself, Toby. Morning, Duckery Dews. How's it going? I don't think the ducks quite know what to make of Toby. So you'll probably notice this, but um, 
Some of our uh, ducks have been uh, molting lately. And so they've been losing their flight feathers and regrowing new ones. You can see it there. This one over here, she's really looking a little bedraggled right now. But that's totally normal. Look at this. I'm so ticked off that I'm molting. <laughs> find in there buddy interesting substances I'm sure that's not the first duck poop you've eaten and it sure won't be the last Don't take it personally, Toby. They're just getting used to you. You're doing such a good job, buddy. I gotta say, he is, like the ducks are terrified of Toby, but Toby is being so well behaved. I just can't get over it. I'm not gonna delude myself. I know I have at least a year, if not two, of uh, working with Toby here and getting him used to the ducks, but uh, so far, at least as a day one, this is a really promising start. Good boy, Toby, good boy. Way to not be a crazy dog, good job. Stay out of the duck food. No, no. Stay out of the duck food. Come on, Toby. Can I get you up the stairs? Come on, Toby. You can do this. Come on. Come on, Toby. Yeah, you got this. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, that's the stuff. Now, can I get you go up a couple more steps? Can you, come on. Can I get you up? Come on. Come on up, Toby. Come on. You know you want it, bud. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Good boy, Toby. Yes. Forget it. I'm out of here. Toby, Toby, no. No, you gotta let Lil do her thing, man. You gotta let Lil do her thing, buddy. Toby, Toby, no. No. Toby, Toby, stop it. Did it get away, Lil? Uh. Okay, there you go, buddy. You stay there and behave. There you go. Hey, buddy, I'll be back in a little bit. 
I gotta go take care of the geese and the chickens. I'm not gonna try to introduce Toby to the geese and chickens just yet. Um, the chickens I'm sure he'll be fine with. I'm actually more worried that the geese are gonna be aggressive with Toby versus Toby being aggressive with the geese. Morning chickens, good morning geese. How's everybody doing this morning, huh? I'm gonna wait a bit before I introduce Toby to the geese because I'm really afraid that he's gonna have a very bad experience with them when they're a puppy and then he'll be terrified of them for the rest of his life. These geese can be a little bit aggressive when they feel threatened by something. And based on the way the ducks are reacting to Toby, I wouldn't be surprised if the geese try to intimidate Toby. The geese have had a track record of tangling with the barn cats in the past, so I gotta be a little bit careful here. Look at that, the chickens are enjoying the food. Just wait, the geese are gonna come back and take over. <laughs> They're definitely the bullies of the barnyard, that's for dang sure. But I still love you guys. Let's go see how Toby's doing. Ducks are still chilling out. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You've been behaving yourself, huh? Aw, yeah. sit tight. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing, huh? You know, when I sort of came up with this dream of having a farm here in Vermont, one of the things I always pictured having was a nice farm dog that could be kind of a companion around here on the farm. I always pictured it being like a border collie or an Australian shepherd or something like that. Having Toby here right now as a livestock guardian dog, it just kind of feels amazing to me, I gotta admit. I resisted this for so long, but now that he's here, I'm so stinking happy. Ain't that right, my friend? I mean, it's kind of an unconventional setup. I mean, when I pictured myself sitting back with a good book and a nice dog at my feet, I usually pictured being inside against the fireplace. But you know, out here in the dog shed, it ain't that bad. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> 